Hello and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video today. Um, it's a read finish. What is it? It's a miss. Well, what happened was I'll show you what I did. Okay. Now, if do you guys know what jingles are? <laughs> it's a type of shell. I got to show you what I made. There's a few things here on the table. My table is kind of messy. I didn't really want to clean it up because I have all these projects going and I wanted to share them with you. Hopefully the lighting is okay. Let me see. Okay, that might be better. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So, I have this shell. It's pretty big. Whoa. It's a pretty big shell. I found, I, I did a video on this this morning. I'm showing you all these shells I found on the beach. Just recently, we had a storm here. And there is another shell in here with, I don't know, it's some type of home made out of sand for I don't know what that is actually. I think it's another, I think it's a home made out of sand for another sea animal. Um, I don't know what happened to my incense. It was just here. I lost it when, when the shell dropped, but I, there's a little hole right there. In the shell right in there yeah you can see it right there so I glued this shell on top of this big one and I put an incense stick right in there so I made an incense holder <laughs> so creative because I didn't pack I'm on the beach in my fifth wheel and I did not pack I can't bring everything here so, a jingle, these are all jingles. They make a jingly sound. They're very thin. Almost some of them are translucent. And they're, I hope the lighting's okay. Let me see something here. I want to make sure you guys can see. Um, these are the smaller ones. I have a bunch of them over there. I have I have a bunch of them in here. I mean, they can they can get really big. And they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. They're opalescence and they shine. Um, there's different colors. There's black. There is white. Um, Holy opalescence, the white ones. And there's orange, and there's there's even yellow. It, here's a yellow one. And these are actually sea creatures. I hope that's a good picture of it. They actually they, there's an actual little sea creature that lives. They have a little house, a, a cover that goes over on top of it. And when they dry, the cover falls off eventually. And it's left with there, with this floating around in the sea. I have some more here. And, and that bucket over there, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a big Folgers coffee bucket and it's full of them. And I have more at home. I cannot resist picking up jingles. And that's what they're called. They're called jingles. So, what I made, one of my projects I made, I got a, this is a glass jar. I think I picked this up at Goodwill. Well, what happened was, I didn't, I have to put more on here. See this? What happened was, and I'll show you. 
Oh yeah, this one's coming off. That one came off. What I did was, a couple of them came off here. What I did was, halfway through it, finishing it, I was so impatient. I took it in my bedroom and I put a votive candle in there. Well, big mistake because the votive candle got this glass jar hot and the, the glue the glue from the glue gun started melting the glue and all of a sudden and I heard they were falling off so two here I think two here and then I wanted to finish it up and this one started just melting down it didn't fall it was probably right there it was just melting so it's absolutely gorgeous at night but what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to there's a you ever see those really thin votive glass votive that you can put a votive candle in well, I'm gonna put that in there and then put the candle inside the votive so it's it doesn't get so hot that one just came off so that's why they're weak it's because the candle was melting it as you can see in the light how beautiful that is that it's just gorgeous and with the light flickering it's just it's just absolutely beautiful so I am going to do a few of those with you right now to show you how I do it and starfish I found a, um, who's, this one looks like it's saying hello see it waving <laughs> see it it's saying hello and this one we had a storm we've had a couple of storms here already since I've been here and every single storm brings up different sea creatures there was a there was a few of these color starfish and then the rest were all the red kind never i don't really see red here at the beach so you never know what you're going to get <clears throat> so this one fell off so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to take the tip of this and remelt the glue because there's no way I can get that glue off and there's no need to yeah see how that just it just melts it all over again so I'm just going to put that one right back here right there and then this black one just came off so it's kind of you know what I should have done with this glass I did wash it but what I should have done was wiped it down with alcohol to take all the oils off from my hands if there was any oils on it so it's better to um, hold on I'll be right back sit down down summer that's my bunny she was just he was just on top of my desk <laughs> yes I have two bunnies summer and stormy so let's 
So it's better to put the glue on top of the, right on top of the glass as, as opposed to on the shell because you might not get an even distribution of glue. Okay, so that one evidently fell off of there. If there's any problems with my videoing, please let me know. If it's too dark, if it's too far away, whatever the case may be. I would love to hear from you all let me know whether or not you have these type of where's that loose one I just found this one if you have these types of shells where you are I would love to know I would love to know if you do and where that is A few in there. So today, this morning, I did a um, part of my hands. I have sun damage. See that from being in the sun? I've been on the beach for most of my life. And that's what the sun did to it, my hands. And I used to ride a motorcycle unprotected hands in the sun on a motorcycle. But, you know, I just read that, if you guys have the same problem, I read that apple cider vinegar. I read this today, and I actually put some on today. Apple cider vinegar, baking soda, castor oil, and there was one other one I read. Oh, well, glycolic acid are all good for age spots. So if you're going to do, there's a loose one right there. There's two of them. This is what happened. What? This is my mistake. So if you're going to do this in the glass, I would recommend putting it in, putting your little votive candle in another glass just to diffuse the heat. So it's not so hot. And I'll show you another thing I made once I'm I get through some of these. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm on the east coast of the US, United States, the mid, mid east coast, mid Atlantic. And the only place so far I have found sea glass was up in New England, Salem, Massachusetts, to be exact. I should probably get some. I just bought some alcohol today. I'm too lazy to get up and get it. But if you, any one of you, are on the East Coast, Eventually, I want to travel all over the place, all along the coast of the U.S. But if you're on the East Coast, if you're in Florida, because I have a place in Florida, the West Coast of Florida, please let me know if you have any sea glass in your area. I will go and get some. So 
So we're, we're Beverly, Massachusetts is the only place I found sea glass and lots of it. And I have it with me. And I'm going to go through a project with you of putting sea glass on a votive cup, of, in a, on a votive glass. This is very easy. But I have to find some cement for it because you need to put cement between the glass. So I have to track down some cement. But I, I can go ahead and do the project. I just can't finish it until I find the cement. This is very easy to do. And you know, you can do this with anything. I have, I have these shelves. I, I have a whole collection. When I get home, I'm going to do another video. But these ones, look how small they are. Aren't they adorable? I can do, I can put these on. I got tons of these at home. Look at all this extra glue that hangs around. But that doesn't matter. And you want to overlap it pretty much. That way there's no space. There's a big space right there. What I could do is when I find a little tiny white one, I could put it in there. Or a little tiny yellow one, I could put it right in there. So the rest of this is orange. And that one I think is too big. Yeah, that one's not going to be too big. Stick them in there. So I'll just put some glue and just let it. That's a fun thing about being on the beach. I am literally. Okay, what's going on with you? 200 feet from the ocean. It's an oceanfront resort, an RV resort. And I come here every winter. Because I love the vibe on the beach. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to see if I can finish this up. So yeah, my next project will be the sea glass on the votive cup. You have a Dollar Tree where you are. I was there today and I should have picked up a votive cup. But I didn't. <laughs> I forgot. might even have something hanging around here. You can use any type of glass, actually. 
I mean, a mason jar. That's a good thing to... Actually, that's probably not a bad idea because I have so many of those. Remember back in the, I don't know, um, COVID days? I was going to start canning food. So I bought a bunch of mason jars. Oh, and another, huh, I was so into prepping. I was a prepper, right? I'm so out of it now, thank God. Because, you know, anyways, I got into this, I don't know, fair state. I was afraid it, that something was going to be, and I guess I wasn't too far off. I mean, COVID hit. And we couldn't even go out, really. But anyways, long story short, I started doing hydroponics out of... I learned about how to do hydroponic, gar hydroponic gardening in my house. <laughs> and it worked. I was growing stuff. But now I'm left with all these mason jars, and that's probably a good thing to do with them. So I don't have too much good to go here. And maybe I might eat. Well, my sea glass is actually in the car. Yes, I don't feel like getting it. But I can show you what I've done so far with the sea glass. I'll upload this tonight along with the one I made this morning with all the good stuff I found at the beach the other day after a storm. And I explain all that, what I think I'm going to do with all that stuff. I don't know if you see these seashells in the back. You see all those? I painted those and then I make energetic medicine. <laughs> I know. Sounds interesting, don't it? And <clears throat> each of these are prescription symbols, I call them, all those pictures. And when I look at them, they send a message to my brain. And it has a set of instructions that tells my brain what to do with my body. So I thought I'd use seashells because I love seashells and I love the beach. thought that was a perfect medium to put, well, that's a lot of glue, a lot of glue. And what else? You know what I did with these one time? I um I got the bigger ones, like the real big ones. I mean, that's a medium size one. But I got, yeah, I got medium size all the way down to small. I got large all the way down to small. And I took a piece of driftwood. I... 
um, drilled holes in it in these little jingles and I threaded some fish like um, what did I put on it I think it was wire why yes I used wire so they wouldn't like get all mixed up it was kind of like this kind of wire kinda some are something similar and I made a mobile out of these and I put them in front of my window and when the sun hits it it's absolutely gorgeous so I'm almost done with this this is the hard part because you're gonna line up the sizes yeah that will work make sure it all fits Almost done. How exciting. This has been sitting on my table for a couple of weeks. Uh-oh. That one's not going to work. It's too big. Maybe I don't need... No, I don't. I don't need a yellow one. Not sure if I need to speed this up or not. Probably not. It's not that long. Sometimes when I make videos, I have other channels and I'll speed them up if I need to, if they're too long. Okay, there's a hole right in there. I'm going to have to find something to put it in there. Let's see. Finally found something to do with all my jingles. All right, that's done. Beautiful, huh? I don't. What did I do over here? Oh, those are too light. That's okay. It's on the side. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now put this over here to dry. So I want to show you this. This is made out of sea glass I found on the beach. Now you can take any type of glass and then what you do is you, I can maybe, I'll do a video on this tomorrow. Um, you take the hot glue gun and you just glue all the pieces on all over and i left the bottom just clear and then you take some cement not crafters cement 
not the stuff that you put down on the driveway. Not that kind of cement. <laughs> Craft cement. You could buy you buy it at Michael's um, or Hobby Lobby. And then you make up the cement and you just cover it all. Let it dry a fair amount for a fair amount of time. And then you take a like a sponge or a wet cloth and you and you take all the excess off. And it comes. You want to see what that looks like? All lit up. I'll show you. I'll get it. I'll get a tea light. Shut the lights off. See how pretty this is. Let me um shut this light off. Oh, is it dark enough? <laughs> There we go. Look how pretty that is. See how pretty that is. You know, I could show you too my um <laughs> the thing I just made here. I'll show you how pretty that looks. Of course, I won't keep it going for too long because I don't want it to melt everything I just did. How pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? And when it starts flickering, like it's doing right now. Sorry about the camera, I can't move it really. Because I'm afraid I will drop it. Oh, here I go. There, I can move it like that. Pretty. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I would like to do one all black. Someday. Because I do have a lot of black ones. I have a, yeah. Black ones are kind of popular. <laughs> All right, so um, I want to show you the mason jar. Let me take this candle out of here, put it in here. Let me see what we got for a mason jar. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to use these. I am not doing can. I will, I will not be canning anything. <laughs> so... There's no reason why I can't use all these up, and I have a lot of them. These make great. These will make a great little. And this will be good for, well, you could actually put both of them in. You can put the, vote, you know, the glass votive candle holder in there, and then the votive candle. You could use, you could do the jingles on here and just cover all this stuff up. You know, all this writing here that says ball mason, it'll just get all covered up. And then you could actually put like a ribbon around here and, and make a bow or something or just cover that up with a ribbon. 
Yeah. No need to go buy anything else. Okay, that's it. That's it for, day, for today. Um, I'll upload this and I'll come back tomorrow and I'll start this. I'm going to put sea glass on it just like this. Okay. All right. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Have a good night, day, morning, wherever you are in the world. Until next time. Hey there, guys. How are you? Hey, I wanted to show you some stuff I found on the beach the other day. Was it yesterday? Actually, I think it was yesterday. My days are long. Okay. I'm literally 200 feet from the ocean. It's right beyond that sand dune right there. So yesterday, I was going to video it, but what happened was, look at I'm drying them. I'm cleaning my boots off with alcohol so I can use some glue on their soles. It's, they're coming apart. Anyways, let me show you what I found on the beach. I'll probably take you for a walk on the beach today. But yesterday, it was so windy out, I couldn't film it. So, this is pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I have all these ideas. I'm going to make... Oh, I'll sh I'm, I'm going to make a picture, actually, with um, watercolor. And I don't know what that thing is stuck to it. i just take it right off there. But look. Look at that. Ain't that cool? Okay, I'll show you my other stuff. This is seaweed. <clears throat> it's like purple. I've never seen some of this stuff before. Especially that seaweed. I've never seen that before. That thing. These things, see it has like a little stand. Like a little tree. I got a few of those in different colors. <clears throat> Another one. And check that out. Look how it stands like that. Way cool, huh? And it's soft. It's it's like velvet. It's interesting. And I found a nice piece of wood that I'm going to put on my picture. And I found some more of this stuff. It's wrapped. I don't know what's around it. I'm going to have to clean it off. It's kind of like a gooey, like, I don't know what that is. I found one of these. It's um, another one of these. It's kind of like orange. And it, look at it, look at the, the things at the end of it. Whoops, that one just came off. Oh. And I found one that's yellow. This is the first time I've taken these out of the bag since I've gotten, gotten them. And another one of these. I'm just going to dry them out in the sun. <clears throat> and I think, I, I think, oh, and look at this. This is kind of like similar to that, but it's, it's kind of like a little baby one of that, maybe. Oh, and I found that. A lot of interest, interesting stuff. We had a, um, a rainstorm. And when it storms out, we get all sorts of stuff that comes up on the beach. I got another one of those. And this is wood. This is pretty. 
I love driftwood. And another piece of wood, driftwood. And I got this. I thought I'd add that to my my artwork. Looks like seagrass, right? <laughs> And another one of these, and another one of those. That's my dog coughing in the background. So this, this, I think is sea sponge. I think that's a sponge. What I should do is probably soak it in water and get all the but I think, oh, I think that's a sponge. I've never found a sea sponge before. You know, like the ones that you can you buy in the store. Is that not wild? And it's like different. It's like red right there. These are alive, right? In the, in the ocean. Anyways, I'm going to dry that out and see what happens if it becomes a sponge. So, those are the cool things I got yesterday. And let's see. Oh, look. You see this? You see the crab? Look at him. See him? He came out of the sea sponge. Oh my goodness. He came out of the sea sponge. Isn't he cute? I gotta put him in the water. He's gonna die. Oh, he's adorable. I'm gonna go walk the beach and like... I got these huge... I got a, a ton of these shells. Look at him. Oh. I can't worry about him right now. I've got a bunch of these, so I got, I'm taking them out of the water. Oh, that one's cracked. I'm not going to keep that one. But I like the colors. I love this. It has pink. It's an, I believe, that's an oyster, right? Yeah, that's an oyster, oyster, oyster shell. <laughs> Say that five times fast. <sighs> I wonder if there's any more crabs in here. It's amazing he stayed alive. With no water. amazing. I never found a sponge before. And I'm going to use it. It's another oyster shell. So, I just want to take all these out of the water. So they can dry I use them for my art. I find these beautiful, perfect shells that I use for my art, like for pictures and stuff. I'll start, I'm going to start making them, and that's pretty cool. I like to pick up, this beach where I am has so many different shells. It's amazing. I have so many more at home. I love that piece. It's a shell. See, I make pendants out of this. I'll wrap that in wire. And not this. This is kind of weird. I, I, I couldn't see anyone wearing that around their neck. This is even too big, but you never know. That's a... Some type of clam shell.
but yeah, I like to make. That's perfect. Oh, look. It was. Oh, is he still alive? No. No, he's dead. Yeah, look at the guts that came out of him. Yeah, because I wouldn't have taken him if he was still alive. But that's almost perfect. It just broke the the tip of it broke. But that's a perfect, pretty perfect shell. And I like that because it's so old. Look at all the holes in it. That's how old it is. And that's pretty cool. I forget the name of that. <clears throat> These. That's perfect. Anything else in here that's worth keeping. What else do I got? Oh, in this bag. It's these. These are drying out. But when you... Oh, this is disgusting because there's a clam in there. But they weren't alive when I got them. Phew-wee! That stinks. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> I got these because if you can see the color in there, I don't know if I should keep them. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I like the color in there. There's another piece of wood. And some more of these sweet shells. And these. The beach got, I mean, we, I can own thousands of these. Yeah, the last storm. Not the one that just passed, but. But they're so old. Look how old they are. Almost like antique. This one's not that old. But you put some shellac on those and the colors will come right out. The pinks and the blues. Oh, I like this one. Because it is so old. Look at, look at all the holes in it. So... They're kind of pretty. Like this one, I like this one a lot. I wouldn't, because look at, because it's so like distressed. It's almost like a shabby cheek, shabby chick. How do you say it? Shabby cheek, shabby chick, cheek, <laughs> chick. Is it, you know, because it looks so distressed, old. I like that. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, I don't know what to do with these big things yet. I don't know. I have to figure out some ideas. So, that's all my stuff. I'm going to put these little ones before they don't blow away in my bag. really need to be dried out. Oh, they stink though. Maybe that one needs to be dried out. So, um, I will take you for a walk in a little while. I'm just 
just waiting for it to heat up a little bit more before I go for a nice long walk. And then I want to do a video on um, make sure this gets in the sun. Look at that old doggy. <laughs> He's the old German Shepherd. He's huge. It looks like a bear. Anyways, um, what I'll do... Yeah, I want to do a video on... Um, making a votive out of seashells and sea glass. Okay? So, I'll be back. I'll um, put this on pause and... I'll resume when we go for a walk on the beach. Okay, bye. See you soon.